Several Metro Atlanta school districts are making some plans because of tomorrow's eclipse. DeKalb County Schools is having an independent learning day. Students in Clayton County Schools are also off. Cobb County Schools are letting students out early. The partial eclipse in our areas tomorrow between about 145 and 420. There are several eclipse watch parties happening around Metro Atlanta. Each branch of the Cobb County Public Library system is hosting a viewing party. Georgia Gwinnett College, the TELUS Science Museum and the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance are all hosting watch parties as well. So many people have been counting down to this big day tomorrow. Mm -hmm, they have and while Georgia is not in the direct path, it's not stopping the excitement from coming to the Peach State. People in Texas will be the first to see the moon cover the sun before the solar eclipse moves northeast towards Maine. Everybody in the contiguous United States will get to see at least a partial solar eclipse. Astronomers are expecting the eclipse to show them more about what's happening around the sun. So that corona, the atmosphere of the sun is going to have more complexity and we might even get to see a magnetic explosion happening on the sun during the eclipse. That's just one way the eclipse is different from the one in 2017. This year's eclipse will last almost twice as long, and the path of totality is over more people. The eclipse's rays are extremely dangerous because they're very powerful. You should never look directly at the sun, which means if you want to watch the eclipse, you need to protect your eyes. If you have special eclipse glasses, make sure they are real by checking the ISO seal and certification number. If you're still not sure, put them on and look at a light. If the light disappears or is extremely dim, then you're good to go. If you don't have eclipse glasses, you can also make a pinhole projector. They're just simple holes. You stand with the sun behind you. You project the image then of the moon coming between us and the sun down onto the ground uh, in front of you through the holes. Some eye doctors suggest not watching it if you have children because it may be difficult to get them to not look at the sun. You want to actually, in my opinion, kind of avoid them even looking at the eclipse if possible. Never look directly at the sun. A safe way to watch the eclipse and see it in the path of totality, even though it's not over Georgia, is to watch our special coverage on Atlanta News First, Peachtree TV, and streaming on Atlanta News First Plus. Our coverage starts at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be a big day. It's finally it here. We've been talking about it for a while. Right. And we just need this forecast to cooperate. Oh, my gosh. And you and I were just talking about it. Texas, which a huge portion of Texas is going to be in the path of totality, they're expecting severe weather tomorrow. Yes. So people have traveled from all oh over the gosh, world. Oh my gosh, near and far. Yes. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, the weather not looking great there. It's mm. not going to be the best here either. But we'll make it. We'll make, we'll it, work. make it work. Make the best We're, of it. You know we are. Got You're, our glasses ready to roll. I'm going to. I'm going right. to test mine in front of a light when I get home today. That's right. Okay. Very good. That's what they said to do. It's a smart idea. And uh, if you miss tomorrow's, don't worry. Just another 20 years until the next total solar eclipse comes over the United States. All right, let's talk about what to expect here at home. Uh, the partial eclipse will start around 145 and then it will reach totality, which for us here is just about 82% eclipsed around 304 and then it will end at 420. Here's a look at a snapshot of what the forecast is going to look like here at home around three o'clock. So showers possible for our far northern counties, so the mountains, towns, Union, Fannin County, cloudy for North Metro. And then from Atlanta South, you have a better shot at seeing it because I think you'll see more sunshine. So if you want to go see it, you might want to travel south of the city. That's going to be your best bet uh, for better viewing conditions. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty cloudy, it looks like. 